signs that they're just using you for attention. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, there's so many mixed signals. Like you don't even know if you guys are together or not, if you guys are talking or not. There are no signs of commitments. Two, this person doesn't talk about the future with you. And three, the whole situation is more physical than it is emotional. And if it is emotional, it's only based off of how they feel, not how you feel. And bonus, your family and friends don't like this person. Chances are you're extremely infatuated with this person, so you can't see that this person is using you, but everyone around you that loves you and cares for you sees it all. Ladies, if you are in a long distance relationship and you do this, I promise you it's gonna make his heart melt. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention, let's go. One, if you can, send him a care package. In this care package, you can send him your sweaters some snacks, and maybe even a handwritten letter. Two, even if you're busy, literally spending just quality time on FaceTime or on the phone is everything. So if that means you are studying while on FaceTime or you're doing homework while on the phone, he will appreciate it. And three, it's the random calls or random messages throughout the day, just letting him know how much you love and adore him. Reassurance is key. Signs you like them, but you are in absolute denial. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, you don't like anyone that they start to like, and then you start comparing yourself to that person. Two, you hate to admit it, but let's admit it. You get jealous when their attention is on someone else. And three, you think about them all the time, but you like to play it off. You're like, no, I just think about them because something funny happened, and I just want to tell them this later. Or something bad happened, or something good happened, and you're like, I need to tell. So you try to justify the fact that you think about them a lot. Or you remember all the sweet things they say to you and then you overanalyze it and you try to put it on them. You're like, oh, maybe they like me. So you try to persuade yourself that maybe they're the ones catching feelings and it's not you. You're not catching feelings at all. And five, you constantly have to be like, no, 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 we're just friends. I don't even think of them that way because you're trying to convince yourself that there's nothing more. Yeah. And five, if you are watching this video and you were thinking about someone the entire time, baby, you're in denial and you like them. Sorry. I don't know what needs to hear this, but I'm gonna say it anyways, but one of the worst feelings in the entire world is falling for someone you know you shouldn't have fallen for. But not only that, it's trying to be their friend regardless. And I get it. You would rather be in their life as their friend than nothing at all, but I'm here to remind you that you need to choose you. That if it hurts you so much to see them with someone else or to see them pursue someone else, you need to understand that you should walk away. Because your mental health matters, your feelings matter. And you are self-destructing by watching this all happen. You are amazing for wanting to be in their life and be willing to stay even though it hurts. Which is why I know that the next person that you decide to love is going to be so lucky. But remember, choose you. Signs that she is losing interest. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know. Guys, pay attention. Let's go. I'm gonna just put it out there that girls actually detach themselves emotionally before they detach themselves physically. So you could be losing her without even knowing it. Which leads me to number one. She doesn't reply as often as she used to. Listen, everyone gets busy, but if she goes hours without talking to you and you know she's not working or you know she's not doing schoolwork or whatever, keep that in mind. Two, she's not excited to tell you about her day. She'll literally be like, oh, it was good. How about you? And three, this one's a big one because it's the fact that she's not willing or she doesn't care to say good morning or good night to you anymore. Ladies, let me know. Signs he's losing interest. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's either he never replies or when he does, it's completely dry. Two, he stops teasing and making jokes with you. Three, he never tries to hang out with you anymore. And bonus, ladies, if you already feel like he's losing interest, chances are your gut feeling is right. Guys don't really play hard to get, so ladies, if you feel like he's already detaching himself and you see that there's absolutely no effort coming from his side, he's not interested anymore. Guys, let me know. I don't know who needs to hear this, but yes, going from talking to someone every single day to barely receiving a response from them to possibly never hearing from them again hurts, especially when there's no explanation. And so you're stuck there wondering what you could have said or done to have pushed them away or even worse. 
whether or not they've replaced you. Well, I'm here to remind you that even though you care so much for this person and you wanted this person in your life, if they were so easily able to just walk away without an explanation, without feeling bad at all, they do not deserve to be in your life. But your feelings are completely valid because you know what? You had high expectations for this person and they disappointed you. And I'm so sorry. But you deserve better. And with this person leaving, you will eventually get that. This is a blessing in disguise. I promise you, you're going to be okay, even if you don't see it now. This is how you know that this friend is actually your best friend. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, you guys don't even have to say anything. You just give each other a look and you already know. Two, if you get disrespected by anyone, you may not react, but your best friend, popping off. Absolutely no hesitation. And three, it's when you are mad at someone, right? And then you may have forgiven them, but your best friend, they will never forgive this person. You're cool with them now? Great. Your best friend, no. Here are some of the first things a guy notices about a girl. Hi, hello, it's Anne. But before I start, yes, it's the smile, it's the eyes, all of that. But like, let's, let's move past that for this one. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. And ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's gonna be her style, the way she dresses. Two, it's gonna be her perfume, how she smells. And three, believe it or not, guys can actually tell whether or not a girl is really confident or can be kind of insecure. And I say that with absolutely no disrespect, okay? So please don't come for me. Things guys need to know about us ladies. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know. Guys, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's that we detach ourselves emotionally before we detach ourselves physically. Guys. Keep that in mind. Two, when we rant about something, we totally appreciate the fact that you're trying to find solutions for us. However, there are times where we just want to rant. So please bear with us. And three, if she takes time to message you back, even though she's busy, if she remembers the small things, if she gets mad over small things, and she's so considerate of your feelings, she likes you, she cares about you, please don't doubt that.